Hey guys, Churchy here. So in this video, I just want to share my thoughts so far about Stalker 2. So overall, I'm loving it, having a great time with it, but there are definitely some issues that need to be fixed. So I've had great moments of gunplay, especially against the human NPCs. The AI feels pretty good most of the time. Uh, enemies will flank you, they'll throw grenades at you, that sort of thing. They'll coordinate a little bit sometimes, it feels like. Um, but occasionally the AI does break humans will get confused about where they're sort of heading and they'll look in odd directions and not really be facing you or they'll kind of like pause in a weird spot and the mutants they try to hide when you go up high somewhere that they can't really get to you and then what seems to happen is they'll when they go and hide sometimes they'll get stuck where they've chosen to hide and then they just won't move anymore um, I've also encountered some really strange spawning bugs where the NPCs just keep respawning. Uh, this was particularly bad when I was some testing some stuff and just shooting some dudes in the uh, Salissa or whatever, and they were just literally reappearing instantly as I shot them. So I'm very hopeful that all of these AI issues will be fixed when the devs properly implement their A-Life 2.0 system. And one other thing in the AI category that I really want to see fixed, which is probably related to this but might be slightly different, is the stealth mechanics because the AI and the stealth it's either really broken or it's really badly implemented because every uh, NPC just seems to instantly know where you are and sometimes that's for no apparent reason so there's times where I've been sneaking up and trying to be all stealthy but you just can't do it uh, or at least I couldn't I, I literally stealth killed a guy with a knife was hiding in the shadows and then everyone instantly knew where I was it was particularly bad at this base thing that I was trying to get into um, and then I reapproached the base again and I was like ages later and I was literally like hiding behind a wall moving along a wall slowly crouched trying to stealth and they knew I was there through the wall and they all started shooting at the wall and stuff like that so something seems like it's balked there and I really want to see that fixed um, the mutants as well are maybe a little bit too tanky or bullet spongy. I'm not sure what it's like on other difficulties, but on veteran difficulty, this definitely felt like it was the case. Uh, they don't really give you any loot or anything either. Like you literally get nothing from them. So they kind of just become this nuisance that it's just not worth engaging with most of the time. So you pretty much just end up running away. Well, at least that's what I started to do for most of them, especially the bloodsuckers, which I'll get into in a minute. But the mutants, like, they do look amazing. The, the models and textures and everything look incredible. And they are fun to fight. But man, oh man, the, uh, the Bloodsucker, it really needs a HP nerf, I feel like. Because there are times where you just unload, like, multiple magazines, like, probably, like, over a dozen shotgun shells, things like that. And they just keep kicking. And they keep coming to kill you. Um... There was a time where I was fighting one and it got hit by like a electric anomaly like six times and then I still had to put like six or eight shotgun shells in it. There are other times where I've literally unloaded like full mags into their face and yeah, they just take all the hits and, and try and kill you. And th this is the other part of it too. They don't react to your bullets. Like the mutants just don't seem to react to getting hit by you at all, really. Um, some of the lesser ones, like the dogs, do a little bit, but the bloodsuckers, man, the bloodsuckers, they just don't really react, even though you're just blasting them with bullets. My one caveat to this is that maybe later in the game, you'll get better weapons, and then those weapons will kind of make it less of a frustration because you'll just be able to wallop them with really high power rounds and stuff. But um, yeah, the, the more I've played, like as it stands, the more I've played, the more frustrating it's kind of becoming because there are certain moments where you're kind of just like stuck in a narrow space and you basically just you, you literally just have to run because there's no way that even if you unload everything you've got they'll just corner you and kill you um, and they move so quick too so another thing i would quickly mention here is that the economy feels a little bit rough or a little bit harsh this might be a veteran difficulty thing too but i feel like i've really been trying to save up my money but i just can't seem to save up enough to really repair my guns and stuff at a rate that um will let me use the one gun but it's fine because it's sort of like you balance out by having lots of different guns and storing them in your stash and stuff so you work around it it's just kind of disappointing because i'll find a cool gun every now and then and i want to repair it up and use it but i just won't necessarily be able to do that um again this might just be a thing of me being in the early game and not coming across super valuable things to sell yet so 
I'm sort of like 50-50 on this. I don't really know how it's going to go, but there's just a couple of times where it's felt pretty brutal early on uh, because I've just been like, oh, maybe I'll repair this. And I'm like, nope, guess I won't be doing that. I've got nowhere near enough money. Exploration has felt really, really satisfying. Uh, this is part of where the game just absolutely shines. The the visuals are honestly pretty incredible. Like the just the environments, um, all of that side of things, the visual effects, the fidelity in general of the game is just crazy. Um, anomalies and the artifact hunting stuff is pretty cool. That's felt pretty fun as well. Um, that whole kind of part of the gameplay where you've got your detector in one hand, you're throwing bolts in with the other hand, and you're just kind of like wandering through and navigating a field of anomalies to get an artifact. All of that is pretty engaging and has been pretty fun. I have had a couple of performance issues here and there, occasional frame slowdowns to literally single digit FPS. I could usually fix that with a save reload. Uh, the weirdest issue has been a massive performance hit or frame drops from time to time when I've gone near the human NPCs and that seemed more prevalent while I've been using Dell AA for some reason but I have found a fix for that which was to turn the NPC hair quality down to medium in the graphics settings menu. Uh, it still very occasionally would happen after I made that change but that changing that change to medium hair definitely fixed a lot of it. So while most of the time Stalker 2 has been performing surprisingly well for me and the FSR 3 frame gen has given me heaps of extra FPS, I've, I've had some crashes and the more I've played, the more I've experienced performance issues and crashes. So I am a little bit worried that stability and performance will continue to degrade over time as I get deeper into the game. But I'm also hopeful that patches and mods will continue to improve the game in this area. So speaking of mods, the uh, modding community is already solid. Uh, I'm using an engine optimization ini file that someone's put together that I found on the Stalker 2 Nexus. That helped me a fair bit uh, with some of my performance stuff and I've recommended it to some friends and it seems to have helped them as well. Um, there are also already mods that kind of can make the mutants less tanky and do all sorts of rebalancing and everything. Uh, so I may end up using one of those mods to basically make the bloodsuckers at least less tanky um, but for now I think I will stick with vanilla just because I would prefer to stick with the vanilla game uh, in terms of balance and everything uh, just to really get that vanilla experience before I start modding it too heavily but to be honest some of the frustrations with the with the mutants it's like man I may just end up getting one of these mods but at the same time I also might just roll with just running away from them and and yeah just doing that style of thing because that may just be the intention of the design like it could just be that they're meant to be so tanky that you can never really fight them properly look i know i've mentioned a lot of issues and it is true that there is a lot that needs fixing but to be honest even with these issues i have been having an incredibly immersive and fun time with stalker 2 so far the world building the environments the atmosphere they really are something special and there is just a palpable tension or eeriness that you can feel when you're wandering around the zone. The frustrations that I've had with the game, I have to admit, they have been frequent enough that there is a part of me that wants to put the game down for a week or two, or maybe even a month, just to wait for patches and mods to fix things. But the game is so damn fun and so immersive that the other part of me just wants to keep playing and exploring the zone. So that's pretty much how I'm feeling about Stalker 2 so far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it and, ha and not having too many performance issues. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of Stalker 2 down in the comments. Have a good day or night, whichever it may be. And I will see you in the next video.